everybody. Thanks again for joining us here on Geek Tech Industries. Stick us here. Valley here. And we're coming at you with round two of the Swiss rounds here at Kippers Moline for the X-Wing 2.0 Extended Tournament. Round one was a damn good and close oh, game. I Holy couldn't have called cow. it. I could not have called it. I was. It was such a tight game right at the end. It was literally like, oh, it swung one way. Oh, and immediately swung back the other. It was so tight. It was great. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing a bunch of the, the great fights coming up here. These two guys, we got Mike and Kalen here now. Uh, oh, what? Uh, what for got? some reason, I don't have Kalen's list up properly. What do we got going on here? We have. Yeah, but I. These two have confided in us that they are childhood friends. Yeah. And not surprisingly, this they're a, basically got a mirror match going on here. This is a grudge match. There All we right, go. Next That's good. We're starting the timer. Begin. And timer started. Can you actually hear us? We speak? Sort of. Um, yeah. We will we will be echoing a lot of what you say into the mic. Um, I'm gonna try I'm speed up to hear me. I'll try to be so short. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> it's it's on my channel. If there, yeah. if there's no cursing, people will be like, what the fuck's going on? Yeah. <laughs> you just play and you're good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. So now we got Kalen's list up. We got Mike's list up. Let's quickly go over this. Um, so Mike's list is Whisper with Juke, Collision Detector, and Darth Vader. Redline, Trajectory Simulator, Proton Torpedo, Proton Bomb, and Ablative Plating. And Death Rain, Trajectory Simulator, Barrage Rocks, Proton bomb, Bombs, and Seismic Charges. And against him, the almost mirror match... Again, Whisper with Juke, Collision Detector, but this, Darth Vader, but this time also a hull upgrade. Yep. Redline with Fire Control System and Proton Torpedoes. Nice. And Death Rain with Trajectory Simulator, Barrage Rockets, Proton Bombs, and Seismic Charges. So they, they are basically... Death Rain is the same. Yeah, they are super close builds. A little more into Whisper, a little less into Redline for Kalen. I'm really interested to see how this is going to turn out. Well, the first maneuvers are already off. We got one Punisher coming up fast. Yep. And I'm shocked. Usually, Mike slows, you know, keeps them both stopped. So, like, I've, I've faced his list several times now. It's a it's a face record. It just it ruins your day every time. 60% of the time, it works every time. <laughs> There we go. I Kalen's really slow happy. rolling off the start. I'm really happy what they've done with the Punisher for 2.0. Oh, man. It's almost it, too good now. It needs some rebalancing, but they definitely don't need to rebalance it up. No, no, which was something they desperately needed to do the from 1.0. The Punisher 1 came out, and it was just the source yep. of a few extra cards previously. It just oh, wasn't really Kalen a very Kalen attempting target stick. locks. <laughs> there we go. He's going to lock his own Whisper just because he can. Just because otherwise, who wants a failed action, right? And the thing is, actually, you can't fail, really, a target lock action unless there's literally nothing in your range. You basically have to target lock a friendly if you can't target lock an enemy. And if you can't target lock a friendly an enemy, target lock a piece of debris. And if you can't target lock a friendly or an enemy or a piece of debris, you probably already finished the game. Yeah. <laughs> was all like highlighted and weird looking. It had been, all the numbers had been selected. Uh, must have been double tapped or something. It's not hard to do. Lots and lots of heavy thinking going on here. Maybe not on Mike's side, but. <laughs> no, nothing, nothing Mike. I'm not talking shit about the Empire at all. Palpatine's my friend. Uh, I believe it's under the double digits now. <laughs> High single digits at the very least. <laughs> Just going to go around. 
time and take a couple of picks now. Systems, second turn, and they're already debating bombs. Interesting. So much system phase and shenanigans going on here. I'm surprised. I expected a trajectory simulated bomb out of him. Okay, I'm back. Had to straighten a couple folks out and take some good, uh, good pictures. Looks like we got, ooh. Oh, we got a joust happening here, eh? Mike's whisper skirting behind everybody there. Looks like he's going to try, try and bring that up for a flank shot later. That's what I'd do. <laughs> Quickly moving his ships up. Very 
lot of very serious faces going on here. That's right. That's right. I'm going to very seriously make pew pew sounds in a minute. <laughs> you must make pew pew sounds when you roll dice. <laughs> yeah. I can just see uh, an unhinged variation of this game right now. Totally. You must make all the appropriate if you sound make effects. Pew pew sounds, you may re roll one die. <laughs> Actually, that wouldn't be so bad. That'd be a neat idea. If you make swooshing sounds or TIE Fighter engine sounds, yeah. you can have a free evade action. <laughs> oh man, I, I gotta start writing this shit down. That's a great idea, actually. What was that, uh, that Star Wars game that was on the PlayStation 2? Was it Force Unleashed? Was that PS2 or PS3? PS2, yeah, yeah. So we would call this X-Wing Unleashed? As yep. opposed to uh, unhinged yeah, or go. unglued, unleashed. which is there magic trademark. Yeah, yeah. Can't do that, because no. they'll sue you. But unleashed. <laughs> so it looks like we got three shields down on Kalen's red line. Unrolled. On death rain, sorry. X-Wing unrolled. Okay. Focus up for one. Oh, force up for one. There you go. And juke it down, and that's one. On was that your red line? That's my red line. Boop boop. Uh, well, your death rain also dropped a bomb, didn't he? Uh, yeah, Is yeah. that a seismic? Okay. There we go. Now I got it all caught up. So. Got a bullseye. Got the bullseye out of that. Barrage rocket's coming. Three hits from the barrage rocket. And so that is hit, hit, and a hull on his red line. Extend the rocket. Yep. Uh, that was one charge off a of barrage rocket, right? Oh, one for the reroll. Got it. Oh, yeah, because you have the bullseye. So a little bit of trading fire there. I think Kalen came out just a smidge ahead in that. One thing you won't see today is dial spinning. We're not keeping that for the bottom tables. It's not a world championship. That's right. It's not worth it. No. <laughs> it's not worth it to get caught on stream, you know. What do you think with these new dials? Just the basic cardboard ones. Yep. Do you think it would be easier or harder to cheat in that fashion? I honestly believe it would be harder because of the, the overlap with the... Uh, the top part of the dial, it's a lot harder to just simply run your finger along or your thumb along the edge of uh, the dial and accidentally shift it. Yeah. It becomes much more noticeable because your your thumb's got to be in that notch, and your opponent's going to be like, "What the hell are you doing? Put your dial down." Yeah, I you know? agree. <laughs> I agree. Anyone who picks up their dial just to check. From the bottom of it, that's questionable. That's questionable, Use but if you grip you're it from good. the sides, and your opponent won't have any reason to call you a cheater. At least with dials. If you're on stream with us, it's every turn you call somebody a cheater because we are. Yeah. <laughs> Not necessarily always on purpose, but that doesn't mean it doesn't happen. That's right. Accidental cheating is still cheating. Like barrel rolls. That's never happened, Bally. It's never happened that you and Bombastis like both missiles. did the wrong barrel roll on the thing and that I would have attacked to the same target twice in a row with a cluster missile. That's impossible. Oh, 
I'm glad you clarified that. All right, dials are down. They are all double checking. It looks like we got some thumbs up here. System fades. Uh, Mike is player one, so he is gonna go first. Death Rain is chucking a bomb. feeling that rock may explode. Just a hunch. And Death Rain, of course, taking that free action afterwards, getting the focus up. And there we go. We got Kalen's Death Rain flinging another proton bomb. Or not another, his first, I should say. So he seismic off the start. Now he's flung the proton. And of course that gives uh, Death Rain that free action, which in this case is going to be that barrel roll over. And stress. Because of course barrel roll on those ships is a red maneuver. Easy peasy to just simply Keep, you know, do a green, clear it out. Not hard to do. They don't have a ton of green, but their green is blue. good. Or they're blue. God, thank you, blue. It's blue now, everything's hey, blue. The red, green, colorblind people of the world are very happy. At least the X-Wing playing red, green, colorblind people <laughs> of, the world, of the world are very happy with the change. Huh? It's monochromatic. Yeah. <laughs> Think about that. One, one of our own well, players. One of our very own geek techs. He's one of those people. Yeah, uh, Bombastus. Bombastus. Just couldn't. He'd have to interpret the previous dials. Now they are much more defined for the man. That looks like an even trade. That is not how the Empire does things. <laughs> There is Whisper's decloak in the system. Which of course, generates her an evade. And it looks like the system phase is done. Now we're executing maneuvers here. So we got Mike's death rain just simply slow rolling it up, boating up there, waiting for shiz to happen. That's gonna come in. Or keep them from exploding. Yeah. Ooh, or, or ignoring damage. Closing from them up or there. There was, of course, the blue maneuver to clear the stress from the barrel roll, and then a boost right up into his face there. Here comes the link into the red target lock. Oh, he's double thinking. He's thinking about it now. He's thinking he may not. Yeah, he is measuring. That it looks like range three obstructed on Whisper. That sounds really dirty when you say it like that, Mike. I 
right? Uh, Mike turning that thing in. I know, they deserve each other. Yeah. <laughs> that's why that's why Mike's moving first. Yeah. <laughs> When you got that many hit points, you can just soak one. And then Mike just flew right away from it. Yeah, now I'm I really he surprised. Was to, he was hoping to bump. I'm really surprised, honestly. I would have ablated that and ignored the debris. Does ablated ignore debris? Mm, no, I know it, it ignores the effect. Detector. Ignores the effect. Ablated is for bomb. No, debris as well. I'll pull it up. Hold on. Both bombing themselves this turn, actually. Mike appears to have seismic a rock that's only going to reach his own characters. All right, all the bombs exploded. So we'll bombs going! So did you just bomb yourself? Yes, absolutely. Up front. Yeah. Lots of bomb You've got to bomb oh, that's right. It only prevents the damage. I was wrong. Sometimes that's true, Bally. Oh, so bombs are happening. So your death rain took a which one? Weapon fail. Weapons failure. And then you ablative it on your on your red line. Okay. you dig your own chips in, eh? Are you going to ablative or are you going to take it? Okay, so ablative is... It takes one. There we go. There we go. I got the bombs all caught up now. And so that is two more on your... Oh, direct hit! So that's half already on his death rain. Right. So it looks like his whisper is going to go, uh, Kaylin's whisper. Darth Vader. There we go. Took a damage, okay. Yeah, that's the last of them? Yeah, we we'll get to it. Um, start here first. No protons. Wait, how much did you deal to his death ring? Three. Three. It's dead. gonna die. Yeah. And wait until after this. Exactly. Uh, yeah, after uh, this gives live, yeah. On red line, eh? Oh, hit, hit. Oh, with one health left. Oh, boo. Well, range one is your red line. 
Oh, just, just now he's four dice in a frickin' red line. So, boom! And red line is gone. Yeah, full damage, yo. Full damage. That's full damage. Yeah, full damage. Yeah, both. Wow. <laughs> That's insane. It's just out, isn't it? Oh. I'm going to barrage rocket firing. And the focus up for three hits. And so red line, three shields. Boop, boop, boom. Right now, Kalen has point advantage. Yeah, his red line was. Exactly. <laughs> So we're at yeah, 59 to 65, Kalen in the lead. There we go, end round there, uh, end of the phase, they're cloaking up. Valley's just off making a ruling about an instructed shot. We're watching these two uh, cook their brains here while they try to figure out how to kill each other. Yep. Yeah, the really, but you've known each, but you've both known each other since you were four. Nice. Nice. So there, there's a rivalry going on here. There's a definite rivalry. <laughs> and apparently some bitterness. <laughs> They've never played together. They've oh, known each other for so long. They've Not never played X Wing together. And yet they're flying basically the same way. I list. know! What yet are they They've odds? never played it together. No. Go figure. I know, right? <laughs> Too good. Too good. <laughs> I find it also coincidental. They've each lost one Punisher, opposite Punishers, yep, but they right. each lost one Punisher and each took the same crit on that Punisher. Weapons failure, good they point. Each took yeah. the weapons failure. That is interesting. Now, Kalen's uh, Whisper is worth more, but is also going to be tougher, harder to get that, that half upgrade. points on because of the hull upgrade. That extra point of hull is going to make all the difference. You betcha. you know half points is half points it takes three either way right you round up oh, the points right. but you round down the damage. one two three one two three five oh yeah you're right either way either one of them are going to give up uh margin at three point three damage no. that yes, haven't taken they, three they damage. will give up margin at three so damage. but that means but that he if, has that little bit extra can, survival he does and but if mike can get that damage in and keep that edge that gives him possibly a five-point advantage on the en in, on the end game. We'll see. Forty-five minutes left. Forty-six minutes left. Uh, well, yeah, we will see. This should we'll be see. very good. Oh, here we go. System phase starts. We got some bombs coming. Oh, 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 Kalen's still thinking.
Lotus Energy, yo. Yeah, mine's still coming up at 1 o'clock. So I got half an hour yet. Oh, really? Yeah, mine's an hour ahead. Oh, because you're a different chart or something, or what? I don't know why. That's weird. Oh, there's a D club. Looks like it fits. If it fits, he sits. It doesn't matter if it's uh, that person. Oh, you got collision detector. You're like, oh, is that a rock? Nah, it's not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He just fits. Shenanigans happening here. So we got another proton bomb to deal with today, to deal with now. All right, interesting, interesting. He does not want to have a face to face. Yeah, yeah. So now we got end of the activation. That proton bomb's going to go off. So Mike's death rain takes a crit. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. Yeah, screw it. Shield. Yeah. And Vader's in for one. Oh, revive your, remove your evade token. Yeah, yeah. I would totally take the evade token too. We go, might get two hits. Can him bust out an evade and a focus. So he it gets juked. One goes through.
right, wow, that was uh, one of the shortest offensives of all time. Did a little walk around, check on some of the other games going on. Yeah, There's you some see great, anything interesting? Great competition going on over there. Poor rookie ace pulled a legit rookie move. One health left on wedge yeah. with a loose stabilizer, yeah. and he turned. Oh no! Blew himself Killed up. his own wedge. You're right, that is a rookie move. So maybe move. he does get to keep the rookie on his title. Yeah, let's not take that off yet. Not so ace when you blow up your own wedge, man. <laughs> oh, he's still doing fine over there, but oh, yeah. he did accidentally nuke his own wedge. You know, I've I've done stuff like that too. I, I killed I killed my own Fenral before. It's a thing. Yep. It hurts it's when you happened. do it, but <laughs> it's learning. Life is learning. And pain is a wonderful teacher. <laughs> That's a very dark side way of thinking. Scummy. It takes a lot of pain. It takes a lot of pain. A lot of pain. Because <laughs> I mean, only a little bit, and I like it. So. You know. System phase. The bathrooms are empty. Out and around, or straight through those doors. So, just to clarify, Mike, your death rain has one. Yeah, has one proton bomb, and that's your. Okay, and this is your last seismic, right? Okay. Yeah. And Kaylin, you're still rocking both your charges on that proton, right? Cloaking up the side of the board there. Way up into the corner. Way up. As far away from his red line as I could possibly go. Almost reminds me of the friendly giant. Look up. Way up. And Kalen, the opposite, barrel rolling himself uh, out into the middle or uh, back in towards the middle of the board there with his decloak. Thinking hard on what his final position should be, and he's pushing forward a bit. And got that uh, evade from the decloak. And it looks like Mike has a bank one out. Or into, right into his whisper, boom. He's about that far. He barely moves at all. And then Mike moving his whisper. Ooh, hard turning in. And he's gonna focus it up.
Okay, Kalen takes that target lock on the rock. Really, I think he was just measuring to see whether uh, he was going to get shot at, but you know, that's a totally legal thing to do, as long as you target lock what's, uh, what's legal. Mm -hmm. I actually really like the way target, uh, target locks work now, where you measure all around you and then determine who you want to target lock. That's much closer to the way targeting computers were described as working in a lot of the Star Wars canon. Yeah. As opposed to choosing somebody and only getting that one ship. Actually, I kind of like right, what so they... So there it goes. No damage from that seismic. It looks like there's no shot from either of the Whispers. In range three, but out of arc. So no, this is a round of zero shots. It is back to sweep and set. All repositioned. You remember back to the X-Wing and TIE Fighter games, of course. Oh yes, you betcha. Where you would uh, toggle through your available targeting. You betcha. And uh, I, man, smashing that R key yep. for next available, next available enemy target. target. <laughs> <laughs> And then toggling through a bunch and sending your wingman after the other guys. That's right. Yep. I love that. Sending all your wingmen after them and running in hotties if you're tight right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Kalen speaks the truth here. <laughs> Wrapped in tinfoil. All right, how can I throw a tinfoil? I mean, that, that takes at least two blaster shots. Come on. It did take two blaster shots. Well, you, like, you had to run away from the 795. Yeah, I know. You had two blaster shots. <laughs> like, one link shot. Oh, yeah, totally. And then you got the tight defender and then one. Oh yeah, TIE Defender was a match for like an entire squadron of X-Wings. Wade in with your, uh, you know, six concussion missiles and your beam cannon and your super speed and all your shields and be oh, yeah. like, oh, oh that's the, cute. The funny thing about the TIE Fighter, the TIE Defender had double the shield, no, triple the shield power of B-Wing, yeah. but half the armor of an A-Wing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once so, once they yeah. tore through your shields, it was, yeah, you, were, you were done. Yeah. And, and, and less armor than a, than a TIE Fighter for balance. Yeah, yeah. It, that's why you would just have to use that speed. Your shields start getting low, you just yeah! bug out. It, it was the fastest, the only fastest it was an A-Wing with full speed. Yeah, 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 with everything put to the engine, right? Yeah. If you guys are somewhat familiar, you probably know what we're talking about in uh, the old school X-Wing PC games. Uh, you had the ability to shift your energy back and forth between shields, blasters, and your uh, engine, and, and shift your, your energy allocations to get different uh, things. And you could take it all out of your lasers and all out of your shields and put it all into your engines and just go super damn fast. But that was not a good idea to do for very long. Not recommended by the manufacturer. <laughs> <laughs> this will void your warranty. <laughs> to deactivate the safety, press this red button. <laughs> Manufacturer recommends against the pressing of the red button that they manufactured and added to this device. <laughs> Please do not press this tempting red button. <laughs> and if you do choose to press this tempting red button, don't hold the tempting red button. Right? Just press it quickly. Yeah, you have to absorb a few before you actually clear it. Yeah. It's inter It's an interesting mechanic. It sort of like delays it on large ships. But. Yeah, it delays it, which is good. It's just ion how ion works. It's not great. It's one more thing to think about. Yeah, one more thing, right? Not like we're tracking everything else in this game. Yeah, it's not. The, it's not the player. How does the opponent? Is like, is he? Is he? Is he ionized? Is he not? Is he gonna get ionized? Yep. Bomb drop. So that's that last proton bomb off of Death Rain. At least until the reload <laughs> starts happening. 
I'm gonna start calling Death Rain Chocolate Rain just because I can. Cloak from Mike's Whisper. Do you, do you mean to stand it on edge like that? You're choking. No, I'm not. No one's touching. I could have done that if I tried. Now you've used up all the luck for the rest of your day now. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so what you're saying is he, he should decloak to his port. I'm thinking he may not. Seems like poor advice, Mike. Seems like poor advice. That is a lie. Yeah. The polygraph has determined that, that was a lie. <laughs> but you're imperial. I thought you were honorable. That's just propaganda. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Imperials don't joust either, so whatever. Ooh, looks like Mike is going to push in on that red line. Ooh, like seriously push in on that red line. I was not expecting the boost. Whisper moving on up. Oh, Mike gets the bump. I think that's actually what he was going for there, too. Punisher throws a lot of things, one of them is predictable. No, and, and if you can stress them, you know exactly where they're going, right? So. Interesting. I did not actually see this coming. I was expecting Kalen to move a little further and maybe get and uh, be past. But he's got his whisper out and away. Looks like that is the end of activation. So that proton bomb is going to go off and bother no one. And we move into No Vader. But he is going to take that shot on his on uh, Kalen's red line here. Uh, Kalen's red line has lost his shields, I believe, but still has full hull. And then again, oh, three hits. Look at that, three on red line. And Mike has pulled ahead of the points battle. One hit on, and there you go, two, and so uh, Mike's Whisper takes nothing. Well, it is still anybody's game. Oh, cool. Uh, how'd you do? Uh, I got 70, he got 200. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Scott, I thought you were going easy on him, buddy. <laughs> Scott doesn't go easy on anybody. I know. <laughs> Even himself. <laughs> yeah, what I do. Sorry, uh, 200 to... Sorry, how many, how many was that, Sean? I got 70. 70? All right, so we actually have a game done on table two. Scott and Sean. Um, Scott and Sean are polished off here with 200 for Scott and 70 for Sean. So Scott steadily moving his way up the tables here. 
like my little uh, Battle of Yak list. I know, it's nice, it's nice, buddy. It's th uh, thematic and brutal. So <laughs> I didn't even know. Was it the protons that uh, uh, overwhelmed you, Sean? Not We're even. It was a proton bomb. Bo <laughs> yes, I constantly forget that. <laughs> Oh, uh, Y Wing Proton Wedge. Bomb. Yeah. Wedge also yeah. traded with Phantom, did free damage to him somehow. Oh, what? That's not supposed to happen. And then it Im immediately blew up. That's not supposed to, to happen. Left and I got him with the bomb. Yeah. I blocked him and bombed him. <laughs> Doesn't matter how many friend size you have, if there's a Proton Bomb. Nope. Nope, that's true. I, I was like, cause he had all, that's how Bally finished off yeah. my fan on Thursday last. He had old man Terra. So I'm like, my Garvin combo is not going to work. No, strip those tokens. And he's got Talop. I'm like, this is not going to work. So I look like I'm going in formation, but as soon as I get close, no, I just sent Garvin four ahead, lost the hawk, shot a torpedo, next turn he turn shot another killer. <laughs> All by himself. Nice, nice, go Garvin. <laughs> he was not doing Garvin stuff. He was just like, I'm I'm a I'm gonna get that hawk, I don't care. <laughs> oh, like, here we go, here. here we go. <sighs> Easy cloaking forward. This who's will who's be winning right now? Uh, Mike's ahead, 87 to 65. Is he playing three of them? Uh, no, they're funny. almost Sorry. identical. It's Whisper Redline Death Rain versus Whisper Death Rain, uh, Redline Death Rain. Wow. I know, right? They deserve each other, as we've been saying. Yeah. So. so And they're almost identical builds. So, so basically, um, I'm going to be playing one of those lists. <laughs> prob probably. <laughs> the way things are going. We'll, we'll see. We got, we got some other folks did pretty well. So we'll see how the pairings end up next round. So we're taking a, a meal break after this. Good. Because everybody needs the fuel. Yeah. I just still... Oh, and Mike bust out a reload. Still, um... Proton, proton torpedoes are too good. Should be 12 points. Straight up. Add three more points ten, to them. 10 for sure, 12, probably. Easy, yeah. easy. Yeah. Especially, Especially because they're two reload. charges. And reload. Yes. Oh, God, yes. My first game, Dutch Reloaded. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, got three pro pros. And we got... Kalen in a pretty... Way out there. Way out of position. Because what do you think of uh, the Phantoms now? I, I thought the Phantom was awesome before. It is a better ship now. Yeah. It's not a glass cannon anymore. It's just a it's really not, good... It's, it's uh, not quite as capable of one-shotting people immediately... But, but it so is durable. just as scary and durable. Yeah. And as a crew slot, which is rare on the Empire. Uh, yes. Oh, yes. And a lot of folks just stack up the points and put Vader in shit. I like putting Krennic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, that works lock. great. Gives you the target lock. Yeah. And you can, you know. So, for yeah, that's all sweep and set. Get, and get like a little on. TIE fighter or something that can just strip shields by going on hit. Yep. Yeah, throw uh, uh, old school Wampa in there. Was that Sane now? What's his name? Yeah. He could, he could do Marana. two damage directly yep. if you put it on him. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's intense, man. Like. Uh, right now, I'm rooting for neither. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually surprised that there isn't more red line here today. You feel like having fun. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's true. <laughs> well, well said, Kalen. Well said. <laughs> What's fun for him? I'm like, my ex when gave her cake. Got bomb right in. <laughs> I've got a bit of a, uh, a reputation for it. Yes, yes, he does. It's a well earned. It well. Ray was all pumped up, and he's like, I was one at the surprise thing. I lost two of it. Yeah. Like, Welcome to K Wing. <laughs> so, so it looks like both their whispers are still fresh. That's not true. No, mine's not true. Oh, no, sorry. Well, mostly fresh. It's lost. Uh, one shield, two shield. Oh, I missed the other shield. I'm sorry about that. They're just sort of like on the comms, whispering to each other. Yeah, so they're. I mean, they still have. They're still doing good that way. Uh, Kalen's red line is three health now. Yeah. And his death rain's gone. 
Uh, Mike's death, or uh, red line is gone, but his death rain is still good. Still got a shield, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so his death rain is doing great. Out of munitions, but he did reload a proton bomb. I'm about to have some reporting coming in, so. Yeah. Oh, here we go. We got we got another match done here. Couple I wonder who it is. It's starting to wrap up here and there, so. Who we got right finished now, off? Uh, Ray and, um, oh, I can't remember his name. James. Oh, Ray and James are points. just figuring out points. Good, good. Yeah. Yeah, we're looking at just under 20 minutes left in this second round of X-Wing. So, if you care to know in advance, since the game's already well since and done, we're going to be taking lunch. Yeah, we're going to start the next round at 2. I'm hanging out. Alright. Got to represent. I'm just going to yeah. go around like that. Exactly, know. yeah. The old school one. Yeah, it's the only, only one I have. <laughs> yeah, awesome. original. The OG. <laughs> OG. Totally OG. The original 20, 2016. <laughs> we all had them. And Glenn just stomped in the last round of regionals. Yeah. That was brutal. We're like, we went all this way, and now we got to play each other. Well, it's like, one of us going to get top eight. And I'm like, well, it's going to be you, because like, I just got wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't get I don't get table very often. <laughs> no. No, you don't. No. But that was just one to remember. Just going around letting folks know what's what because we're taking a break for lunch after this. We all got to fuel up, get some hyper fuel into our into our uh, places here. Which one? Which one do you think is better? Now? I mean, they're obviously really good. Red line and death rain. But which one do you like better, red line? I still, I sti personally still think red line is better. Like just, and I hate to say this because people are going to draw parallels to the freaking Minox, but it is objectively a better ship. No, I'm not the Yun. <laughs> <laughs> I really like that train. Yeah. I like the jank. Get that action out of phase. Oh, it's it is great. The red line just has the potential to dish so much more damage though. Yeah. Nice. It's cool seeing them again. You know what? They they needed something to buff them back up. Yeah, I think they overdid it. But uh, they did. Oh, yeah. just a little. <laughs> just a little. At the beginning of this match. Yeah. Very much so. I mean, when when they just other the, they just the cost yeah, when other recent cost. tournaments, not here necessarily, are like redline in half the field, mm -hmm. that's a sign that you've undercosted the ship. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, when you compare it to the Thai bomber, it's just oh, it's it's substantially you get better so than much the bomber more for so so much less. For just that little, little bit, tiny more. bit more, yeah. yeah. And the medium plates isn't that big of a deal compared yeah. to the large ones. Oh, well, these guys are like, there's a hard joust coming up here. We'll see. We'll see. So you may think that, then he's like, surprise in your face. <laughs> remember when those Punishers dropped? I was so oh, surprised because yeah. they spoiled the K wing. And I'm like, oh, they're adding a rebel ship with slam. I'm like, obviously the heavy bombers are going to add is the gunboat. And then they're and like, then they didn't. spoiler, Punisher. you get the Punisher from, what was it, Galactic Battleground? No, it was the other one. The, uh, the oh. RTS. Empire at War. Empire at War. Empire at War, yeah. That was the final upgrade for your bombers, well, yeah. right? Yeah. Which was a really good game, but like, that is an obscure. Fantastic game, yeah. That's an obscure. It is a very add. obscure th a bit of cannon to draw considering from. Considering that the obvious choice would have been a gunboat. Right, yeah, that is a terribly and obscure then they come bit of cannon. Out with the gunboat. Yeah. <laughs> and it does have later. slam. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I remember, like, in Exxon versus Thai, or even with Exxon Alliance, it was the best. Yeah, yeah the gun slam. Gun I love that. Yeah. I love that animation where you press well, slam you, and, like, your you whole cockpit yeah. shook. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was in uh, TIE Fighter, because that's when you first were uh, able to fly gunboats. Oh, yeah. yeah. Push, pushing yeah. those afterburners right to the max. <laughs> right. And they're single, they're single cool. freaking yeah, laser. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah. Pew. Just turn all your energy from that to your shields. Just don't even bother. Yeah. Yeah. Just 
Just pile it all into your shield and lock target. Yeah. Okay, occasionally, you'd have to pour a bit back into your blaster so you could slam. So, because it would actually drain from yeah. your uh, your laser energy and yeah. Man, I love that That's game great so noise much. For the target lock. Yeah. Yeah. And I love. Those I got so tone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of those games that made me want to play X. It is true. It's true. <laughs> Like this is X-Wing versus TIE Tabletop. I'm in. <laughs> yeah, you pretty much, you had me at X-Wing, right? Like <laughs> oh! oh! Stickus calls it! <laughs> at this point, 15 minutes left in the match, just like rip it out there. Oh, yeah. He, see, that's Kalen. Knowing where his no, opponent's that going. Oh, that's a little close to the rock. Not that close. Not that close. It looked pretty close from my angle, but I got a bad angle. It's pretty close. I got an angle. But it's not on there. It's like, it's, there's a good amount of it. Just a little airborne. <laughs> it's, still it's still good. good. <laughs> <laughs> old memes are the best memes. Old Simpsons was best. Oh, old. Balls out over the rock. Like, getting out there. He's still got the evade for Juke. Uh, collision detector, so he ignores it. Wow. Wow. Surprise. We all forgot about the collision detector. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, you don't use it until you need it, and then your opponent goes, oh, shit. Yeah. Wow. Oh, man. And these are the current like system options for the Phantom. There's not a whole lot on there. No. That you'd want. No, fire control's not worth it now. No. Um, that collision is, is great, the but it's like super expensive. And not worth it. Yeah. Well, I, th I think fire control is worth it in, in that it's deeper cheap. If you just have a couple points to Sigmas. drop, and then you have to Sig get the target yeah. lock, though. The, hmm? Oh, they don't have target lock. Oh, yeah. Oh, they don't even have target lock. No. That's what I'm saying. Unless you're throwing, unless you're throwing Krennicon to generate target yeah. locks. They yeah. never did. You just always put fire control before. That's how they got their target lock. Yeah. Right. Now you can put Krennicon and oh! fire control. Oh! Which is actually the wish I played, and it's great. Well, I was on yeah. your death rain, eh? Yeah. Just the one? Yeah. That's like the discount. <laughs> it's only eight points upgrades. It's pretty good. Wait a minute. Oh, you lost shields earlier, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, because he baited you, didn't he? Yeah. Which leaves yeah, so you five hate. Yeah. Oh, I got that right. Okay. Wow. Yeah, so what dice? There are no dice. Lock. Only Zool. They were four <laughs> dice, last cannons. They couldn't even target lock. Yeah. You basically had to build the list around it. Yeah. That's right. Focus, evade, and barrel roll. And, and cloak. And the and cloak. Yeah. Because yeah. it was an action. Tournament list had Whisper in it. Like proper tournament list. Like a big event. Man. Mike is still we ahead about. on points, but not yeah. by much anymore. 2015 regionals. Uh, no, 2015. Uh, or championship? Got a con. Oh. Wow. That was my first big tournament. Was it? That was the. Yeah, I remember that because uh, Andrew was running that. And the CR90 was the prize. Yeah, I won it. Yeah. <laughs> and I own like almost nothing because I was playing actually before that, so I was playing with my friend's chest. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I had actually just bought into the game myself, so I had like a collection of five or six chests. I used most of them. And that you day. won the epic chest. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I guess I'm, I'm guess I'm collecting rebels now. For lack of a better phrase, <laughs> that's epic. <laughs> <laughs> so on that the first day, and the second day I won a outrider. Ah, uh, yeah, that's and right. And then I won a draw prize of a Y wing, and I'm like, well, I, I guess got, I'm rebel now. I got now. like a good chunk of yeah. the rebel collection now. <laughs> yeah, because at that point, that was like half of the rebel ships. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> My have times have changed, but yeah, I needed like I needed a B wing and an A wing with like rebel aces, and I'd like that was it. Man, I wish you guys fun. could smell the smoke right now from all the thought that's happening. That's just because nobody oiled the hamster wheel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kalen's got like total poker face. He's there. impossible to read right now. 
<laughs> yeah, it's just like, fro like hooked into the wheel, stuck there. Yeah. He's just really out of shape. Yeah, he's totally. Like he's going like this. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm already winded. I just got on the wheel. <laughs> Mike sounds uh, a little annoyed. A little annoyed, perhaps. I like when ships end up. The same ship end up fighting the same war. I know, right? I don't know why. It's nice. It's nice. <laughs> They're not even. Hmm? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the two whispers are just whispering to each other. So, really, this was like. Two sets of clones battling to see who would be like the prime versions. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I don't think the Kaminoans are alive anymore. <laughs> oh, they kept the tech. They didn't keep the people. <laughs> this is why Whisper is so awesome. It's just like round, round with this. Yeah. And that whisper, you know, is the one that made it, made it through to the end. <laughs> Man, this is a crazy battle. Obviously. So that's your or your last proton again. Yeah, your last proton again. Yeah. Reloading. Yeah, it's Beautiful great thing. thing. The type Punisher is such like a big clunky looking ship. I bet it's reloaded. It's just like this big like. <laughs> 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 Nothing you can no, no, nothing sophisticated about it. It's like a big manual lever. A big lever. Yeah. Loads the next freaking uh, round so in and away they go. In. Yeah. It's like one of those big double clutches <laughs> in the semi. <laughs> Hit it twice. Getting on out of dodge. Okay, so he's moving up on that red line. See if red line is uh, gonna let that happen. I got a feeling Kalen's whisper is gonna lay some serious smack down though. Yeah, coming up behind. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, not a bump. But he does clear. Uh, didn't have bombs to begin with. Fire, con fire control proton, like super, super slim. Oh, man. The tournament one. Hmm? The, the tournament build. Yeah, yeah, tourney build going I harsh. <laughs> and there's that boost to get out, and it might actually be enough. That boost is even better now. X-Wing, five minutes in your round. Three and 
into Death Rain. Oh! Nothing Death Rain can do about it. That leaves two left on your Death Rain. Here we go. Two dice. Natties for two. Kalen busts out one of eight and takes one. Redline is not dead yet. Last one, too. Last one, I, I honestly thought that it was going to go one way, and then it swung the other, and then it swung back, and oh my god, it was amazing. Do so I need to. Oh, I think I'm in my way. Okay, one. Maybe. My list. My list is either gonna, it's either gonna clear out or it's gonna go down a ball it, of fire. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how it ends up with margin. <laughs> but but I feel like it's gonna it's gonna go fast either way. X-Wing, three minute warning. My first round stuff so fast. <laughs> Your Garvin got like immediately vaporized though, right? The first round of combat, both Garvin and his wedge went down. Yeah. Wow. Your Garvin, his wedge, just yeah, both of them, just gone. That's that's a slug fest. Yeah. <laughs> and Garvin got overkill by three damage. Ooh. Wow. That's hard to point left. He had, a, he had a range one shot with his ghost. Uh-huh. Just Six a, dice or five just dice. Just a focus. Yeah. Just rolled. Hit, hit, crit, crit, crit. <laughs> and then Garvin blanked out. I'm like, yeah, Garvin's just like, he's done. That's like, done. He's, he's, yeah. His shit, like, there's no record. It's like, he's gone. Yeah. <laughs> That's brutal. Man, oh man, oh man. So right now, Kalen has pushed ahead by getting those few hits into Death Rain, 95 to 87. He's go Phoenix squad. I'll, be, I'll check on the break. That's providing it even feels to me as an option for you to protect it. Uh, it often does. You're usually in my in my thing, so. Thanks. Val and I are just talking about uh, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, which is a mobile squad battles um, Star Wars don't game. Don't do it! Oh, for the love of God, don't do it! What he actually means is you should do it. It's super fun. <laughs> <laughs> but I realized today is how good reload is. Even on a red fly wing. Even red, you get out and you reload. Yeah. And then you just spay, you, a big and then you drop. Down. Yeah, and then you just drop your freaking stress That's the next turn. Like it was like no effort. Just like reload, target lock, shoot the missile. Yep. No, it's a thing. It's awesome. The ghost is not nearly as amazing as it used to be. It's still it good. is still great. It's still good, but it's not like. It is. It is great day. in comparison with other ships now as well. Yeah. So like it's, no, I think it's everything else perfect. was nerfed and it was nerfed in comparison. So yeah. it's it's still good that way. Yeah. No, I think it's perfectly in a good spot. Oh yeah. 100%. It was so broken before. <laughs> well, let's be honest, it's because TLTs are gone. <laughs> yeah, actually that has made a lot of ships much more yeah. competitive is TLT gone. Yeah. Which part of me is like, oh, that's sad. And part of me is like, thank freaking God. I am <laughs> loving the Y-Wing today, though. I yeah. think I'm just going to do a pure Y-Wing this. You know, Y-Wings are great. The fact that they can now carry bombs as just, like, you and don't have, have to do anything like bomb upgrade or anything. Yeah. Even though it's red. It's red. That's great. But expert handling. Oh, no. I don't even run expert handling. I just put the droid on that gives me the two green. Because mm -hmm. they use reds all the time. You give them the R4. Red. Last turn, gentlemen. In between, like, torpedoes in the front, an ion can to the side or the back, yep. a decent dial, like an X-Wing, and a barrel roll. It's like, that Y-Wing is just putting in damage every turn. Yep, yep. But don't they have a gunner slot, too? They do have a gunner slot. Yeah, so you put uh, your, uh, I uh, what is that one? The, 
Yes, yeah, the veteran turret gunner that lets you, you your shoot your primary and then your turret, you could do which that. is is great. That's yeah. And if you can get them in both your primary arc and your turret arc, that's just brutal. If I wasn't running corpse, I would. I would run that yeah, arc. yeah, totally. Especially like the scum of like cavalry, like just screaming for that. We got the the bumpy bumps going on there. This is gonna be awesome! <laughs> They're almost identical lists, it's brutal. <laughs> Punishers are. Well, they were, they were rough. Yeah. Now they're uh, one of the very few things I think that's under constant overpowered in 2.0. I mean, this should be like through a mirror darkly, is what I should call this match. <laughs> <laughs> So wait, which group which group of ships are the, from the Mirror Mirror universe? Well, Ol has like the Spock mustache. You do. I thought so. <laughs> that's right. That's right. He's a dark messiah. <laughs> the dark messiah. It's hard to tell. That's an interesting. We may have to have a panel to, to yeah, discuss that. I yeah. <laughs> this is not like Those, those are the hard questions. questions. That's, That's right. The These are the hard questions, yes. Yeah. If, I, if I somehow fail this blank up here, I don't win. He kills me automatically. If I get away, I'm going to be all you? like. Yeah. Okay, so it's a Brian. Yeah. Uh, so I'll so this is Kyle. It's failed in the unusual way there. Yeah, there kill. We are. Kill. Yep. Oh, here we go. Oh, boy. Here comes. That is not four blanks. Uh, is that 84? And yes. Ain't nothing you can do about it. That is a dead death rain on oh, Mike's I, side. I won. Is that it? Is that what? Yeah. Okay. Pop, pop. Congratulations. <laughs> good game, guys. Very good game. Oh, man. Down to one roll. Why did it not? All right, there we go. That leaves Mike with his whisper left. Yeah. But Kalen brings out the win by keeping half points on red line and his beefy whisper, giving him a grand total of 124 versus 87 for Mike. Well flown, gentlemen. And I wish you both good luck in the second round. Don't forget, everybody, like and subscribe. Leave some comments in the comment section down below. Go check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash geektechindustries. And we'll see you on the map. Well, you know what? Nothing will be more so quick question. Question.